Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot, and we're going to do the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Capricorn, and this is going to be from January 20th to the 27th. Some of the readings have been pushed back, but all in all, we're going to get the reading done. I'm outside, so you might hear cars going by and nature and that sort of thing. So we're going to get you going. I already shuffled, and I spoke with Spirit to get clarity. So hopefully we can give you some clarity for the week. And you can also check your uh, moon and your rising sign and, of course, your sun sign like we're checking. So... You know, that might give you clear, more clarity and a bigger frame picture for the week, okay? So, now your first card is the Fool card. Now, this is an awesome card. It's like fitting me. It's a zero. It's the beginning. It's pretty much like when you were a kid and they asked you, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? This is a card you might go parasailing, skydiving, bungee jumping. Uh, you see the cliff there, him with his puppy, and it's just like taking a leap of faith at something. Maybe it's like you're going to do something like me. I'm just now starting tarot, taking a chance, doing something that I feel like I have a calling. So I just started uh, doing tarot this past uh, week, last week, and I've been planning on doing it, but I'm the fool in it because I'm new and I'm, you know, I'm green, basically, like the shirt. So I got to, you know, study and learn more as I go, but um uh, I just feel like now is the time. I've been watching tarot for some years now, and now I feel like it's my turn that I could probably help somebody, and I've always known that I had the gift. So, uh, yeah, the, the full card could take you anywhere. That's the saying with this card. So it used to be known as the soul card, but this is the full card, okay? And the next, and that's a great card to get. So, oh, I should say about this card... This is, even though this is great uh, car, is a lot of optimism with the car. You want to make sure you're grounded, you're spiritually grounded. You see him on the edge of the cliff right there. If he takes too many more steps, he could fall off or that could crack. And then that's it. That's game. So you, even though it's a full car and it's about being open and taking chances and trying new things. Uh, you want to be grounded. You want to be spiritually grounded and you want to have your wits about you. You don't want to just be in this energy and doing jackass kind of stuff. This is more so being grounded and doing something uh, with structure or something that's going to uh, help you or build you up or help you grow. Or it could just be doing something fun and exciting. Okay, now your next card is... Wait, hold up. Oh, we redid it. I did your reading before, so yeah, we're redoing it. Okay, so this is your next card, is the Page of Swords. So you might have somebody around you. They could be spicy-mouthed. They could uh, be talking junk. could be your daughter, your son. It could be like a young one that is having an attitude or it could be an adult that is immature with this kind of energy. They swing in that sword, they causing drama, they're gossiping. So, you know, just be mindful of this energy. And if you're a king or a queen of uh, swords, they ain't got nothing on you. But right here, they filling they self with that sword and they could hurt you if you're not careful. So just keep that in mind. And it, it's young energy. A page could be young, like a child, like a teenager or an adolescent. But it could also keep in mind being an adult that's embodying teenager behavior, I guess you could say. So the next card you got is the Ten of Cups. So I guess that little page ain't got nothing on this. Uh, this is like supreme happiness. This is wish. This is like attainment, like wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is um, the wish card. So when you hit ten, you hit the mark. You got X marks the spot. Yeah, money, abundance, beautiful home. Look at the kids dancing. Uh, the husband and wife together got their hands up like look at what we have look at where we are like this is after the chariot and you're just 
you're blown away by like what happened, how we get here. I was saying that in another reading about how the uh, chariot energy is so fast that you're going to look back and be just like them, like with their arms up. Look at what we did. This is ours. We're here now. So the Ten of Cups, this is a wonderful energy. So congratulations on this Capricorn for the week. And the next card you got, wow, it's the Wheel of a Fortune. Uh, to get these two cards is just like something amazing. So the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. And this right here confirms it. But... Wow, to get these back to back, these are major arcana cards. So when you get this, this is energy that's going to be around for a while. So congratulations and whatever fortune and events that are about to bestow on you, I'm very, very happy for you. Wow. So that's the will of fortune. You see the sun, all that gold. You see like the yellow, like the sun, and then the blue. And for abundance of the sky, sky's the limit. And these cups, you know, that's like reaching uh, total fulfillment. The only thing after that is the ace of cups, and that's ecstasy. So you're pretty much there with this and that. <laughs> so the next card we got, wow, is the ten of pentacles. So you got the ten of cups and ten of pentacles, and you have... The Wheel of Fortune. So this is amazing to get this card by itself because this is like happy home, happy life, spiritual protection. You can go outside. You feel comfortable in your surroundings. People say hi to you when you come and go from home to work. It's just a beautiful energy all the way around. And it's spiritual divinity all the way connected through there. You see uh, the dogs there, the old man. So it's kids over here. So this is total like life all the way around. Pretty much like the world card in a sense. But this Ten of Pentacles is beautiful for spiritual protection and just showing you how abundant you are. Wow, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles and Will of Fortune. That is awesome. So your next card is the Foundation card. So this is the Three of Pentacles, and this just talks about uh, you building up this foundation, and it's a lovely foundation with family and, you know, friends and your soul tribe. So this is an awesome card to get. It goes so fitting with all these other beautiful cards. Wow. So these other cards you got right here, you got the full and you got this page. Uh, just be mindful if this is you, you know, not to let this go to your head and you be in this energy when you got so much. Other, I don't think that's even possible. It might just be somebody jealous that you have all this going on. So they uh, popping off at the mouth or whatever, but you can't even hear them. They so far off in the distance from this that, you know, you way over here. You can't see this. <laughs> That's way somewhere else. They talking and whatever, but it don't phase you. So congratulations on the first half of your reading. And then we're going to go to the next half of the reading. And this will be uh, immediate feet of uh, future. So immediate future. What was we started with was um, the root of the matter, heart of the situation and crosses good or bad for you. So those were the first three. Then we did what was in the past, what was behind you. And now we're doing, um, I think we did what could come into, but now we're uh, immediate future. So the first card is the five of swords. So this is somebody, or it could be you, you might be embodying the five of swords and it might be quick moving energy, or it could be somebody coming in with an opportunity um, from afar, but they're coming in and they're coming in fast. So it might be an opportunity, but it could also be someone coming at you aggressively for the, whatever reason. Like we already had the card, this page. <laughs> so someone's upset with you and it looks like because you're doing so well with all these other cards, it could be je just jealousy. So keep that in mind this week. And then the next card you got is the Seven of Swords. Wow. Yeah. So it looks like somebody is really hating on you. So you get the Seven of Swords. There's somebody that has lied on you, um, 
they've done a lot. They've caused a lot of problems. Sorry for this car going by. Uh, they've caused a lot of problems and issues, and it's all behind your back. They're doing a lot of sneaky stuff, or, you know, it could be you. This could also be you just sneaking away for the night, getting away, not letting people know. You could be moving without telling anybody, that sort of thing. But usually it's somebody on some sneak sneak tip type stuff and they're you know they're happy with what they're doing and hoping that they don't get caught but they don't lied on you or something like that so keep that in mind but at the same time i don't think you even gonna be paying attention when you all up in the fool and the will of fortune to this this is spiritual protection so nothing they can do can hurt you so <laughs> you all up in this and that's where you want to be. That's where we all want to be. So congratulations, Capricorn. Oh, wow. You got all these swords. So it looks like these are all like hater cards. All people that cause problems. They done stuck 10 swords in your back. Like, and they can't stick any more swords in your back. So these is all the people that, you know, caused you problems, caused you harm. Uh, was hating on you, didn't want you to succeed, but somehow you got the will of fortune in this ten of cups. Like this, the happy home, everything. You 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 made it, and then after that, you got the will of fortune card. Then you got the fool. So and you got all the protection. Your foundation is fine. You know, it's, it's solid. You got a solid foundation. So all these beautiful cards, none of these swords can touch you. None of these uh, swords have anything on you. So no matter what they think or they trying to do, it won't have any kind of power over you. So great power that you uh, are possessing right now, Capricorn. So the next... Uh, card we have i snuck it out before is the eight of swords so all these other cards are swords you got the eight of swords <laughs> you got the five of swords a page of swords seven of swords so <laughs> it's a lot 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 right here and this is about being stuck so I don't think you're stuck. It sounds like somebody else is stuck. They're stuck and they can't move. And maybe this is why they have all this going on directed at you because you're doing so well over here and they seem stuck. For some reason, somebody's stuck and they're not making a decision. They're only stuck by their mind. They can actually move from here, just move forward, and they won't be stuck anymore and take off the blindfold. But they're remaining to be stuck almost like the hangman. So they might be mulling over some kind of decision. Uh, so that could be you uh, with a decision to make and you're not ready to make it yet, but you got spiritual protection. And the next card you got is the King of Pentacles. So you got all these pinnacles and beautiful cups. This is Virgo energy. This is the King of the mountain of making money pretty much besides the ace you can't go no higher. So next is after this is the Ace of Pentacles. That would probably be, what, a trillionaire? So this right here just pretty much shows you that you're the king of your castle or somebody around you embodies this energy and lovely energy and lovely person to be around uh, just all the way around like a baller type energy, okay? I'm going to try to hurry this reading up for this uh clock goes on me and tells me uh, out of storage so uh the next card is the the hangman so this is your outcome cards uh for the week and you know you got the what we got here king of pentacles and the hangman so it looks like you're waiting to do something so whatever that is whatever decision you're trying to make with this here these are the same. I was just saying this is the same as this kind of energy. They're the same. So you're in a holding position by spirit for whatever reason. But uh, all in all, you also got this king of pentacles. So maybe you want to think about um, everything that you've gone through to get to this position. Because it looks like you just inherited or you've earned it all. <laughs> you got it all. <laughs> 
you the fool your foundation is fine it's beautiful it's solid you got the ten of pentacles that's spiritual protection all the way around and so all these swords and things are outside influences and people and then they got you um pretty much on timeout with these cards for whatever reason so nothing wrong with taking the time out, especially when you got everything else going on on for you. You might as well take a vacation <laughs> or just be in your humble abode as a staycation and enjoy the week. OK, so thank you all so much for uh, listening and letting me read for you. I appreciate y'all. Uh, my name is D and this is D's Divine Tarot uh, 411. And once again, please come back and cross uh cross read cross check uh the readings because uh like i said you can get a fuller picture with your sun your moon and your rising sign and maybe even your venus sign so thank you again y'all have a blessed uh night and into the week and so i just want to say uh blessings blissfulness and peace and love y'all thank you so much bye now